And good morning to you all and welcome to uh, Port Coburn down here in the uh, Niagara region. Niagara's south coast, by the way. Uh, today is the opening ceremony for the uh, Welland Canal. Uh, which uh, the ceremony is going to start very, very shortly, which celebrates the first ships going upbound and downbound in the Welland Canal. Um, a little cheat, though, uh, one of the ships came down uh, Thursday evening, which was the 21st of March, and technically it doesn't open until the 22nd. And I just actually managed to capture that ship manoeuvre into position, ready for the uh, opening ceremony. So we're going to walk over there very, very shortly, see what we can see. I've never been to one of these ceremonies before, so I'm going to share it with you. I've also already got some good drone shots of the, uh, the ship being put into place. So I'll put that up for you very, very shortly so you can see. Uh, so anyway, uh, a little bit about this. This uh, event is hosted by the Port Coburn Fair Trade uh, Committee. They put it on every year. It's also a pancake breakfast they put on and things like that. So we'll have a little walk around, see what's going on. So the opening ceremony uh, marks the 60th season of the St. Lawrence Seaway. And this opening ceremony is, began back in the 1970s. And basically what happens is the captain of the first ship up and down the canal is basically given the ceremony of a big uh, a top hat, uh, which is made of beaver fur, I believe. So anyway, we'll go and find out a little bit more. Join me as we check out the opening ceremony, the 2024 shipping season on the Great Lakes. This is where Port Coburn is located in Ontario in, in comparison to the United States, just to give you an idea. Anyway, it was a cold morning, uh, minus 6 degrees Celsius when I got down here at 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, there was a bit of a sunrise, uh, but it didn't last very long. But you'll see that in the, very shortly in the video. There you can see the sun uh, just going through the smokestack there on the conveyor. Anyway, I managed to witness the uh, conveyor uh, move herself into the uh, Lock 8 here in Port Coburn, slowly edging her way uh, along the wall. Now, uh, the conveyor was uh, wintered up here in Port Coburn, and as I showed you those images earlier on, she actually went up, uh, sorry, down the canal to Port Robinson, turned round and then came back. So, kind of a bit of a cheat, really. So, anyway, here's the turnout, quite a few people there. Upon arrival, everyone was given this uh, little piece of paper, and attached to it was this lovely little badge, 125 years, and 125 years is basically Algoma's anniversary. It's 125 years, 1899-2054. And this is the captain of the vessel of the Algoma conveyor. This is Captain Edward Kemp, who will be receiving the top hat at the ceremony very, very shortly. Uh, due to microphone issues, um, I had to uh, play around with the audio and talk over a lot of it because one of my microphones has uh, ceased working. Captain Bill Steele, how are you doing? You're the mayor? Yes, I am. Very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you originally from? Breton. Ah, okay. We get all the Easterners here every year. Well, lots of Easterners, yeah. yeah, yeah. What should we see in the world except one? The Arctic. Antarctic. Double dip. Oh, yeah. Antarctic. 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 High Arctic, Eastern Arctic, Western Arctic, all the, all the big oceans, all the big seas. The Fair Trade Committee put on some uh, coffee, tea, hot chocolate, and of course waffles and sausages. As uh, being seen eaten here by a friend of mine, Andrew, who I bumped into. Cheers, mate. Welcome. We gather to celebrate an annual rite of spring, the reason for Port Colbert's inception, and the people who have elevated the status from village to city. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. All right, the only thing left to do now is just do the top hat ceremony. Uh, but before that, these people caught my eye. Uh, Ship Junkies, um, their Facebook group, uh, nearly 63,000 members and growing. Uh, an amazing community on there, all about the ships, mainly on the Great Lakes. Uh, some fantastic photos and videos and stories as well. History of the bear. Um, we have yet to receive all the DNA testing back on the hair samples, but um, I, it's very complicated. So you're going to have to just really focus here, but there is some really interesting uh, results. I have them writing down because I don't want to mess it up here. Um, so these are uh, from the, the researchers. Now follow me here. This information has been embargoed 
until this very moment. So you are absolutely <laughs> the first people to ever hear this news. The Algoma bear is a black bear. Algoma ships are blue. The Port Colburn High School mascot is a blue bear. I think we're related. <laughs> Soon we'll have the um, hair samples. We, Mayor, we need a sample from the blue, the bear, but, but we will get these um, traced. But we're quite sure we're related, and it should come as no surprise, of course. Everything you've heard today tells you that these, this community and Algoma have been connected, connected for many years. Uh, before the top hat is uh, presented, here is that drone shot video from uh, this morning when the Algoma conveyor was making her way into Lock 8. Enjoy. Tom Hat is given to Captain Edward Kemp of the Algoma Conveyor, the first upbound ship of the 2024 season on the Welland Canal. So that is the ceremony over and done with. The crew on board the conveyor are now gathering to welcome their captain back on board and ready to set sail. And they'll be shortly departing, and I believe it's for Thunder Bay, is their first port of call. As the uh, captain now makes his way up the gangway. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry, I didn't say that. <laughs> A little bit of humour. I like that. He just said he's Quick photograph for the group. And uh, that is basically it. The Algoma is going. The bridge is going to go up very shortly. The Algoma will head out. And like I said, my microphone wasn't working. I did have a lot to say right here. Uh, interesting stuff as well. And it was kind of cool with this ship in the background moving uh, behind me. Uh, but unfortunately, microphone issues. We'll get them fixed.
All right, there you have it. First ship out. Off it goes, Lake Erie. Into a winter storm, which is due in a couple of hours. So what a way to start off the season, eh? Like I said at the end of the video, it was like 10 to 20 degrees most of last week. This week it's been below freezing. Winter came back just as the shipping season starts. So anyway, I'll be out seeing that vessel probably in the next couple of months uh, out on the sea. Do look how cool that is! I'll we'll keep an eye out for it, and then we'll go and ride alongside it, get some close-up shots on the water and the shipping action out on the lake. Until the next video, stay safe. See you soon.